Happy Saturday. Happy coding. So let me share my screen. I found another interesting challenge. It's called rectangle into squares. So uh, let me read it. The drawing below gives an idea of how to cut a, a given true rectangle into squares. True rectangle meaning that the two dimensions are different. Yeah, and that's the definition of a rectangle. That's the dimensions are different, okay. Can you translate this drawing into an algorithm? You will be given two dimensions, a positive integer length and a positive integer width. Mm -hmm. You will return a collection or a string. As far as I can see it, we have to return a list, okay. And these are examples, depending on the language. Okay, um, we are lucky. These are Python examples. Uh, notes, length is width as a starting case will be an entirely different problem and the drawing is planned to be interpreted with length is not equal to width. Yeah, as it just stated, if the length and width are the same, we are not dealing with a rectangle, but with a square. That's a different shape. Yeah. So when the initial parameters are so blah, 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 the, select, the solution length would be the most obvious, but not the in the spirit of the scala. So in that case, return no, nil, no, nothing, blah, blah, blah. In our case, we have to return none. Okay. So have a look at this picture. Picture says more than a thousand words, of course. Um, so we have this rectangle, it's Oh, it's actually this second test case. So a rectangle of, with a length of five and a width of three. So um, you have to fill it up with the biggest square possible. In the first case, we can uh, put in a square of three square meters. Then it's getting pretty filled up, but then we have uh, space for another uh, square of two square meters, and then we have two little squares of one square meter. And, oh, that's actually indicating this list. So we have a square of three square meters, two square meters, one square meter, and one square meter. So this beautiful list is just a reflection of this picture. Okay. Uh, I get it. Um, so let's you know, let's just uh, have a look at the test cases and walk through them. So the first is a test case where the length and width are equal to each other. And then you have to return none. Okay. So if length, well, let me write it out. Length, width. Looks so stupid. Okay. If length is equal to the width, we turn on. Mm, okay. You can strike that through. Um, so if length is not equal to the width, so um, yeah, you can like nest different if and else loops in each other, but it would be the smartest to just um, use something like an iterative function or a recursive function. I'm not that well versed with the latter, so I go with an iterative function. In Python, uh, we have this while loop, which is pretty, pretty useful in, in situations like this. So um, let me actually defining uh, the relevant variables. So um, 
yeah, as you can see, we have uh, this rectangle and what's probably important is to work with an area of the rectangle. The area is just the length multiplied by the width. So five multiplied by three is 15. And then we have this square meters, like three square meters basically means three multiplied by three because the size of the dimensions of a square are always identical. That's why it's a square and not a rectangle or an other shape. And yeah, the same goes for this, like other squares. Square of two uh, has an area of two multiplied by two. So that means that it has a size of four square meters. And you have to subtract these square meters from the area of the rectangle. So you end up with a with zero, and that basically means that your rectangle is filled up with all the squares. So um, let me go ahead. Area is length multiplied by width, and of course we have to somehow conjure up a list. So I just create a empty one, call it squares as a list. So while area is more than zero, this basically means a we set up a condition. Well, uh, while the area is not filled up with squares, it has to run. Um, yeah, let's have a look at this test case and just walk through it literally. Um, so if in this case, the length is greater than the width. If length is greater than width, then we have to uh, append the, what do we append? The value of width, we have to append width. That's this one the three square meters. And that automatically means that we have to reduce our available area. So the area is not, is getting reduced by the width and not just the plain width, but the width multiplied by the width because we are dealing with the square meters, as I said. And our initial one, so let me count. One, two, three, four, five. So our initial length of five is getting reduced by the length of three. That's something we have to take into account as well. So length is length minus width. And after the first iteration, that leaves us with the situation that the length will be actually two, but the width stays the same. It remains three. And after the first iteration, this if statement won't execute anymore because the width is greater than the length. So let me go ahead and create an else function. Mm, uh, can you can use this, just reverse it. So that means that we, we are dealing with a width that is greater than the length. Okay, so we have to append the length. And the area is not getting reduced by the square meters of the width, but by the square meters of the length. So it is what it is. And then we have this 
this width of three. That's getting reduced by two because we enter with a width of one. So you guys remember it, the length was two, the width is three at this moment. So we have to reduce by two and at least with the length of one. Okay, let me see if this works out. Um, and within the while loop, we have to indent it at the exact right place, of course. We, uh, we return the this list of the squares. Okay, let me see that. Type error line eight. Uh, line four, main pi. I'm blind on something. If length is greater than width, oh. of course. Not a stupid typo, okay. Hell yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> just as I expected. Good that it works out, okay, attempt. <laughs> I actually pass all the tests, okay. Submit. Mm, very good, okay. How satisfied are you with the SCADA? Very. I hope it was uh, useful for anybody. And I wish you a great evening. Ciao.